Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about require and import in JavaScript module system. So this is the agenda of the session. What is require and its syntax? And we will also see the demo of it. What is import and its syntax? Also, we will see the demo. And the comparison between require and import. Both require and import are used to import or load the JavaScript module. Now let's talk about require function. The require function is a part of common JS module system. And this require function is used to import the module in the Node.js. Just to let you know, we have a four types of module system in JavaScript. Number one is common JS module system. AMD module system. Async module system. UMD universal module system and ES6 ES6 module system this is the latest module system and it is part of the ES6 version of JavaScript and this common JS module system is the default module system in the node JS this require is the part of this module system which is used to import or load the module. Now let's see the syntax of require. Constant, any name then, and here, you need to mention the module name. There are few ways to mention the module name. If you want to load the or import the external module. External module means the module which you are downloading from the NPM registry. Then in the argument here, you can give us the module name. If you want to load the module which a developer created in the project, then here you need to give the path of the module, the relative path. If you want to load the module from particular URL, then here you need to give the complete URL to load the module. So we can pass the module name for the external module, the name of the module along with the path for the module which developer create that we can say the internal module and the module which are hosted on particular endpoint so that url we can mention here so this is the syntax let me show you one example here you can see one project i have created node.js underscore test and here i am using the require to load the modules so you can see i have used this here and i am using to load the http module this is the module which is part of the node.js so here i am just giving the name and this module uppercase module which i downloaded from npm i am loading just by giving the name of the module so where you can find this module in the node underscore modules so this so you need to give the name of the module here to load this particular module if you are using the internal module so here you can see i am using the internal module module called test.js where it is present you can see it is here this this is the sample module i have created so if you want to load the internal module which are created by the developer you need to give the relative path this you can also give the url of the module if you are loading the module from the particular endpoint so in this way you can load the module using the require function once the module is loaded like you can see here we can use these modules down the line so this is how we can load the module using the require function. So every module system having own way of loading the module or exporting the module. Like in EX6, we use the import to load the module and we use the export keyword to export the module. In common JS, we use the require to load the module and we use the module.exports to export the module. So every module system 
having the own way of loading or exporting the module. Now let's talk about import keyword to load the module. This import keyword is used to import or load the module in ES6. We can say import keyword or we can also say import statement. Now let's see the syntax with demo. So this, so this project I created for the demo node.js ES6 and here you can see I am using the import to load the module. The syntax is this is the syntax import the member which you want to load or import from name of the module. So in the first line I am importing the HTTP module. In the second also I am using the import and I am importing the this module uppercase and here I am loading this function uppercase. In the third statement I am importing from this test.js. So you can see in the module name there is some difference. Here I am giving the relative path. So this is the model which I created myself. So to load the int and this is called the internal module which developer create. To load the internal module you need to give the relative path along with the module name. So this is the module you can see test.js here which I am importing. This is the module which I have downloaded from npm registry. So you can see under node modules uppercase. So here you need to give the module name for the module which you have downloaded from the npm registry. And in the first I am giving the module name. This is the module which is the part of the node.js. So we don't have to download this. But here you can see there is no curly brace. The reason because this is the because this module is using the default export. This is the syntax to load the module. You can visit my previous video. This is the video which I created demo export and import module in JS. Here you will find more details about the import. That's why I, I have not explained here in much deeper way about the import module. Now let's compare require and import. The import statement should be present in the starting of the file or you can say it should be present at the top of the file. For example, so this is the file which is using the import statement. So you can see these are present at the starting of the file. So import statement should be present at the starting of the file. But it is not the case with require function. Require function can be present anywhere in the file whether it's top, bottom or middle anywhere in the file. There is a flexibility with require function. So you can see these are the require statement. This is the require function. Right now it is present at the top of the file but you can move from here to bottom. As per you need you can put this require anywhere in the file. So we have seen the first difference. Now second is the the module loading using the require function is the synchronous call. It is the synchronous operation. If you are loading the module using the require function the script execution would be blocked here and it would be blocked until this module loading is finished. So the module loading is the synchronous operation with the require function. However, in the import statement, the module loading is the asynchronous operation. It is the asynchronous operation means means your script execution would not be stopped when you are loading the module using the import statement. So this module loading using the import is the asynchronous operation means the script would keep executing even if the module loading is in progress. Next point is require the complete module is imported. Your module is having three functions. So you will not have a choice to import 
only the single function or two functions the whole module would be imported then you can use the individual function but in import you can import the particular function like you have a three functions in the module and if you want to import only the single function then you can also do that so that is the flexibility in the import you can see this is the import suppose this file is having two function and you want to import only one function you can just mention here the function name which you want to import if this module is having three function and you want to import the two functions so here you can mention the function name the second function name so in the import statement you can import the particular member of the module whether it's function or its object or variable whatever but in the require function we don't have the flexibility to mention the member which you want to import this statement will import the complete module this this and then we can use the particular member of the module that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video